It's Mr. Kanil once more. I want us to go on with our master classes. We are looking at analytical geometry. I briefly want to introduce circles in this next session. This was November 2008. It was the second question. This is the diagram that we are given. That line there, QR, is a tangent. O is the origin there. Equation of a circle. In mathematics, you'll always find questions that says find the equation. It might be any graph. It might be y is equal to mx plus c. It might be y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. It might be y is equal to a over x minus p plus q. It might be any equation. <sighs> equation of a straight line. This is also another equation. Equation of a sec. You will be able to require to find equations of different uh, uh, <coughs> graphs. We said when you are looking for equation, you are just looking for M and C. What is it that we are not looking for? We don't touch Y, you don't touch X. Very same thing here. You don't touch Y, you don't touch X when you are looking for the equation. So you are looking for A, B and C. You don't touch Y, you don't touch X. So you are looking for A, P and Q. That's what you actually do when you are just looking for equations. Now. <coughs> Let's look at the, 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 the equation of a circle. Uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. What is it that we're looking for when we're looking for the equation? We're just looking for r squared. That's what uh, finding the equation means. Right. In this particular case, it's, an, it's a circle with a center at the origin. If it was not at the origin, it's going to be x minus a and y minus b. But in this case, it is at the origin. So the coordinates of a and b in this particular case are zero. <coughs> equation of a sec. I know the general equation. It will say x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. We are actually looking for r squared. Not for r in this particular case, but for r squared. Now watch here. You go to this circle. Which is this circle in particular? Is there a point that we know in this circle? Yes, there is a point Q there. We know point Q. X of point Q is 12 and Y of point Q is 5. We know those coordinates. This is X and that is Y. Remember, we're looking for R squared. Just go put, take this X's and Y and substitute it there in the original equation. Our X in this particular case, we said it's going to be 12 squared plus what is our Y? It is 5 squared this is equal to r squared. What is 12 squared? It is 144. Plus 5 squared, it is 25. This is r squared. So this is 5 plus 4, it is 9. 2 plus 4, it is 6 and 1. So this is r squared. This is the value of r squared. Remember, we're not looking for r squared. We're just looking for the whole equation. Then go and push it in the equation. Then x squared plus y squared is equal to 169. This is the equation. We're just looking for that r squared. That's how you go about finding the equation. Uh, the question did not say find the radius. It says find the equation. So that this, we don't have r there, but we've got r squared. So keep it as r squared. You don't have to go and look for the square root of 169. And you'll be actually looking for the radius of the circle when you do that. Now the next question, 2.2. You find the equation of a line through P and Q. A line is a straight line. Y equals to mx plus c. Or y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Those are the equations, the two equations we can use. Find the equation of a line PQ. PQ, PQ, PQ. This is the line. Now, <coughs> we said when we are looking for the equation of a straight line, we are looking for two things. We are looking for the gradient and the y-intercept. In this line, as I see it, I can easily see the y-intercept, the point where this graph will cut the y-axis. These are the y-axis, it cuts them at zero. So we already know the value of c in this particular case. We know that this value here will be zero. There's something that I also know about the gradient, that this gradient will be positive. 
for me to find gradient, I must find two points and use m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I do have these coordinates, I do have those coordinates. Therefore, I can find the gradient. Or others will say, oh, gradient, okay, number one, we said c is equal to zero in this case. And we're looking for m. m is equal to the change in y over change in x. Distance that I've traveled in y from here to here, y it is 5 x from there to here that's what gives me the gradient from here to here it is 12 is this a positive or a negative gradient it is a positive gradient so i've got my c i've got my gradient therefore y is equals to m 5 over 12 mx plus 0 which is 0 so this would be the equation of this line y is equal to mx plus c and m in this particular case it's change in y over change in x distance travel in y over distance travel over the x in this particular case it gave us a uh, 5 over 12. this next question is 2.4 show that the, the gradient of qr is equal to minus 12 over 5. this is what we need to show that the gradient of QR is minus 12 over 5. <coughs> Alright, show that the gradient of QR is equal to minus 12. Where is QR? This is QR. Ah, I can see that this gradient is negative because this one is positive. But there's something that I notice here. If I go to my Euclidean geometry and I look at this theorem, this is the tangent this is a radius. I know that whenever the radius meets a tangent, 90 degrees is formed. These two will always be perpendicular. We got that from Euclidean geometry. And I see that scenario here. This is a radius. This is a tangent. So what is this tell telling me? It tells me that these two lines are perpendicular. Ah, this gradient and that gradient are related. When I multiply them, I will always get minus one. That's the fact that I will be using. So this question was hidden in Euclid geometry, tan radius theorem. Now, let's do it. Show that QR is equal to minus 12 over five. QR, the gradient. I know this gradient. I know this gradient, uh, OQ this gradient it was 5 over 2 but this okay. gradient of QR times the gradient of QO is equals to minus 1 because we've got tan radius tan radius theorem <coughs> now do, what is it that I'm looking for? I'm looking for the gradient of QR. Do I know the gradient of QO? Yes, I know the gradient of QO. So gradient of QR times, what is the gradient of QO? Gradient of QO is 5 over 12. It is equal to minus 1. How do I get rid of this, this side? I will multiply it by the inverse. Uh, in fact, if I want to get rid of this, I want to, to multiply it by 12 over 5. This side, I've got to do the same thing, 12 over 5. So that this and that, this and that, I will be left with the gradient of QR then being equals to, what is negative times positive, it will be negative 12 over 5. It is exactly this one. I've used the fact that I can see the time radius theorem there and the fact that the two lines are perpendicular. Thank you. Right, I want us to go on and find the, the equation of QR. When finding the equation and QR, what is QR? QR is a straight line. You're just looking for two things. Whenever you're looking for equation, you're just looking for M and C. What is it that you already have there? You've got a point Q. Do I have the gradient? <laughs> what is it that we're looking for here, the gradient? Already the gradient is calculated. Uh, just short of C or just any other point. Equation of QR. I know the gradient of QR. What is our gradient? It is minus 12 over 5. 
I just need a point. Do I have any point on QR? Yes, I do have point Q. What are the coordinates of point Q? It's 12 is to 5. The question is, find the equation now of QR. I've got the gradient, I've got the point. It's either I use y is equal to mx plus c, or I use y minus y1 equals to x. Right. Uh, I can see that my y-intercept must be up there on top. So the question the equation would be y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So it's going to be y minus, this is x1, this is y1, this is m. So y1 in this particular case this is 5 is equal to m. The gradient is minus 12 over 5 into x minus. The facts x here is 12 in this particular case. If we clean it up, we're going to have y is equals to minus 12 over 5x, this times this, uh, negative times negative, it's going to be plus 12 times 12, it's going to be 144 over 5, take 5 that side, it's going to be plus 5, therefore my y will be equal to then the answer will then be equals to minus 12 over 5x plus 169 over 5. This will be the equation. The next question wanted us to find the value of t. To see what t is, I think we've done problem like this one earlier on. t is on this line. I can either use the gradient or just use the equation. This is x, this is y. T lies on this line, which is this line in, this, in our case. Now, I can either take that equation and write it there, or just use the gradient. I've got two options. If I take the equation, the equation says y is equal to minus 12 over 5x plus 169 over 5. And point R there has T. If I take point R, what is y? y in this case, it is minus 1, minus uh, 12 over 5. What is my x in this case? It is t plus 169 over 5. All right? <coughs> then you've got to take uh, 169 this side, or take t this side, and take 1 that side. I'm going to have 12 over 5t is equals to 169 over 5 plus 5 over 5, which is plus 1 in this particular case. Uh, so this is 12 over 5t equals to uh, 174 all over 5. If I'm looking for t, I've got to multiply it by 5 over 12 on both sides. That goes, then I'll be left with t equals to whatever value I have there. I can see that this can go with that one. This one will be 29 over 2. Alright, that's how we go about finding the value of t. The last question that I want us to do, determine the equation of the circle. We want the equation of a circle with the center here. Now the center is not at the origin, so this becomes important. Passing through the origin, but it will pass through the origin. I've got to find the equation of a circle with the center here, which is this point and passing through our origin. Let's have a, 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 a mind map of what we're doing. We're looking for the equation of a circle with a center. This is a center and it will pass here. Oh, let, let, let's just do it. We're looking for the equation of a circle like this one, passing through the origin. Okay, okay. Oh, so this will be the radius of the second circle. This circle and this circle they share the same radius. Okay, I see that. Uh, okay, let's 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 write the equation of a circle with the center which is not at the origin. It says 
x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. This is the equation of a circle with a center which is not at the origin. Where a and b are the coordinates of the center, let's put them in there. So this is what we'll have. We'll have x. In fact, we are looking for a, b, and r squared. That's what we are looking for when we are looking for the equation. You don't touch x and y. Do we know what is a? Yes, we know what is a. x minus a is 12, all squared, plus y minus what is b? It is 5, all squared, equals to r squared. That's what we have. That's what we have. But we are still short of r squared. We've got to find the value of r squared. Now, you go to the equation that you have. If we have this equation, is there a point that we know in the circle? Is there a point that we know in this graph? Yes, there is a point that we know. It passes through the origin. So we know the coordinates of this point. The coordinates of that point there would be 0 and 0. I know the coordinates there, 0 and 0. Because this passes through the origin. So once we know those values, we can substitute there and have only one unknown. This is x, this is y. So when it's x, I push in 0. So this will be 0 minus 12 all squared plus this is also 0 minus 5 all squared is equal to r squared. What is 0 minus 12? It is minus 12 squared, 144, 144 plus uh, 25 is equal to r squared, all right? Uh -huh. So r squared is equal to uh, 169. I was not even supposed to, to calculate this because <laughs> this radius in this one is the same as this radius in the other one. So r squared will then be the same, which in this case should have been 169. So that's exactly what we found there. Therefore, the equation now of the circle, this equation will then be equal to, in fact, from there, it's going to be x minus 12 all squared plus y minus 5 all squared equals to 169. This is the equation of a circle with the center not at the origin and we are given the center in this particular case which is 12 and 5. Thank you.